Hi, and thanks for purchasing the Number Effect Unity package. This package allows you to easily add visual effects to your in-game counters such as an increasing or decreasing value over time, a minimal amount of digits, formatting with a custom character, prefixes and suffixes. In this demo I will demonstrate how easy these effects can be achieved, so let's get started. The first step is to import your Unity package to your project by simply dragging it into the assets folder. Once Unity asks you what kind of object you want to import, make sure to select them all and hit the import button. As you can see, the number effect Unity package only contains one script, so it is easy to work with. This script has to be attached to a text object. So let's go to our hierarchy, right click, go to UI and add a text object. Make sure to drag and drop the number effect on the text object and take a look in the inspector. As you can see, the number effect script has a couple of options to work with, but before we can actually use those, we will need to have a controller script. So let's right click, create a new C sharp script, and let's call it controller. Let's open it up in mono develop and modify it to our needs. So first off, I'm gonna get rid of the start function because we're not gonna use it. And inside of the update event, we're going to add the following. If input dot get key down key code dot return. In that case, what we want to do is we want to increase our score. So first we have to refer to our component. So we say get component number effect. And then we're going to call our increment or increase score function like that. This function requires a float, which now we're going to say 50. And this float is going to be the amount that our current score will be increased with. Then what we're going to say is else if input dot get key down key code dot backspace. In that case, I want to decrease our score by 50. So again, we say get component number effect. And then we're going to say decrement score and again, give it a value of 50 like that. So make sure to save your script. Let's go back into unity and make sure to drag and drop the controller script onto our text object like that. So now when we test our game, every time that I hit enter, we can see that the value is going to be increased by 50. And when I hit the backspace button, it's going to be decreased by 50 again. So let's take a look at our different options. First off, I'm going to open up my console and enable the debug function. Now every time that I hit enter, you can see that the new target is going to be 50 out of our maximum value. And every time that I press it again, we can see we have a new value of 100, 150, and 200. This works the same with backspace. As you can see, 150 and zero. If we want to format our score by thousands, then we wanna make sure to enable this option and give it a format character. Right now, I'm just gonna give it a simple dot. So now every time that I hit the enter key, it's gonna be formatted every three digits. The maximum amount of digits is obviously the amount of digits that you can see on screen, but it also determines how many additional digits we will need to actually fill up our maximum amount. The calculate per time option is the value that is going to be added every time that we're going to update our points. So right now it's going to be set to 2500, but if we would set that to be 10, then every frame we're going to add just 10 as you can see right now, when I hit the enter key, it's going to be adding 10 until we hit 100. Like that. The calculation delay is the amount of frames that will be skipped before our score is being updated. So when I would set this to, let's say, 5, then we will skip 5 frames before we're going to add 10 to our score until our new target score is being reached. Let's try it out. As you can see, it's being a bit slower than before. 
our prefixes is pretty straightforward. We can do something like score double dot space and that will add it in front of our score or we could say a suffix of space and then something like points and every time that we hit the enter key point or our suffix will be at the end of our score.